Are your customers asking questions about your product or need pointed in a direction for support? The Knowledge Center in HubSpot might be the place to do that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot makes it easy to keep your customers informed of frequently asked questions or things they might need to know in order to better use your product or service. The knowledge base inside of HubSpot is part of Service Pro, and if you haven't watched that video, I encourage you to jump over there. But in this video, I'm gonna show you what knowledge base inside of HubSpot looks like and just a little bit of a spin around the platform to give you a look inside. Let's dive in. So here we have the knowledge base, which is gonna sit under our Service Hub tab right here. So if you don't happen to have Service Pro, you're not going to be able to see Service Hub, but that's why I'm showing you right now. So here we've got a view of what this will look like. And keep in mind, this is actually based on, like right now we're in a sample portal. So this is pretty um, skeleton in terms of the content in here. But up in the left, we've got a logo, we've got whatever we wanna call our knowledge center. In this case, we call it the help center. We've got a central area where people can ask questions. We've got a way to point them back to the main site. And then down below is gonna be where all of our articles live. So what this actually looks like is this, if you've ever used HubSpot for the marketing side, the articles look very similar to how you would style a blog post. So as we pull this open, this is actually a draft. So we would put in a, a title here. So whatever the question is that you happen to be gathering. If again, this is happening in your company, there's a good chance you already have these questions documented and probably stored somewhere. Maybe it's on your website, on an FAQ page. Again, this makes it so you can index them individually. So I put the title and then I put a subtitle and then the answer. And then for settings, I'm gonna go ahead and assign a URL string that goes at the end. The language, I can categorize that, which then makes it easier on the front end. We'll show you that in a second. Keywords will improve the search. Meta description, because again, that's what's pulled out of um, the tool when actually you allow it to be indexed by Google. And then again, down here, we've got a chance to say, do we want this answer to be available to the public or do users need to log in in order to view this? So that's what this looks like on the draft. I'm gonna take you to a published one to see what that looks like here. So you'll see that we've actually got this URL here. We've got marketing tips as the category. The subcategory is HubSpot hacks. And again, if you open this up, you'll see that we've got a title, a subtitle, we've got some examples, We've got a video inserted, so on and so forth, and we're gonna exit that so you can see what this looks like. Now, if I view the, the knowledge base, you'll see what we just saw, and that's here on the front end. If I actually wanna customize this knowledge base, we can choose from a number of templates that live inside of HubSpot. So I'm gonna click on Customize Template here, and what you'll see is over on the right-hand side, this shows me the design of a content article page. If I wanna go just to the home page, which is what we just looked at, I would click on Home Page, and here again, we've got what we just saw. So I've got the navigation bar where I can say, I want a different company logo. Perhaps you want one that's horizontal so it fits better in that space. I can say what size I want it to be. I can actually have it then directed to a URL. I can name the knowledge space. So here maybe it's called um, FAQs for product XYZ. Or what's pretty common these days is just knowledge base or in this case, HubSpot knowledge base. And then we've got a text link which lives over here in the top right. And then we've got a URL that we would actually then have to that link. If you wanted to use a form here on this page too, so this is common practice where if I can't find the answer to an article or a question within your article or knowledge base, I can put a support form here for people to reach out for additional help. So we've turned that, um, we can turn that on here if we want to, that would then populate a form that we need to actually have set up, but we don't, we're not gonna do that here in this video. So that's how to look at that home page. I can go back to content and then I can actually then influence the design. So here we've we've chosen this from this template right here, but if I wanna change the templates, these are the five templates at the moment of recording this video that you can choose from. So again, what I would suggest doing if you happen to get a demo of Service Pro and you start kind of messing around with Knowledge Center um, or Knowledge Base and you wanna see what it looks like, load about five different articles in there Again, the way to do that might be, I'm gonna take you back to the main screen here. I can actually take this and I could um, uh, just go into the view and I could copy and paste it. And then again, you'll see how this looks um, now that we're just setting up a sample. But let's go back to that customizing the template and we're gonna choose what template we want here. And again, so minimal is going to be something that just shows those little pieces. If I click preview, it will actually take my current content and show it to me here, which this is what it would look like. So again, you can use a background image or you can use just a color. So that's actually really super, super user-friendly. All right, so a couple other things we've got. We've got button styles. So if you wanna match those button styles, uh, so the, the styles of your website, we've got font styles here we can also set. 
And then if I look at the individual article pages, I can also then choose to set some of those styles here for the article pages. Now, category pages are going to be those that are actually those, like, again, we've got marketing tips as one category, but the categories then would look like this. And then under those categories would be where those individual questions would fall. So we're gonna exit this because we didn't change anything. So that's how to make all of the knowledge base set up. Let's go to the settings on the back end of HubSpot in the settings area to point a few more things out to you. So if I go back to settings, it's gonna be here in um, obviously our HubSpot settings, and we're gonna be down here under website and knowledge base, because it's technically going to be a subdomain inside of your, your master domain. So right now, since we're working on a test portal, for instance, this might be like help.simplestrat.com or support.simplestrat.com. That would be where your knowledge base would live under that URL. And then we've got base access here. So this, you can turn it on for all public or all private or a little bit of both. And then we can actually block Google from indexing it if you want to. Or again, if you have a, a product where they're asking questions regularly, like HubSpot does, HubSpot's knowledge base is actually publicly indexed by Google. So then if someone's looking for an answer, the knowledge base article actually gets pulled up. You can choose to set the language and then you can have a favicon, which again is up here in the top uh, left of your browser. And then that support form again, customize that template. You can do that right here. So related articles is a feature just like we see on Amazon where they're gonna try and figure out what's similar and then serve that to the user at the bottom as well. So that's a nice little uh, nifty function. Now, feedback is also going to be if you want to implement feedback at the bottom of a knowledge article, which might be like, hey, was this helpful to you? You can go ahead and put this here. And then we've got some uh, GDPR compliance that you can also pay attention to as well. So that's it. That's how knowledge base and knowledge articles work inside of HubSpot. Keep in mind that these are service pro and service enterprise functions, but having that knowledge base is really something that everybody is looking for to make sure that they feel empowered and they can actually use the product seamlessly without having to reach out for additional help when it's a common question. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.